Hi, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be installing a wig. So, I already did this wig on a mannequin head, so honestly, it was just time to put it onto my hair. When I parted it down the middle, I wasn't even sure if that was the middle. It was just the middle for the wig, and because I feel like I've tried this wig on before, but it didn't really fit my head the way that it was supposed to, so I thought I was going to have to shift it. But when I put it on, magically, it worked out perfectly. So, I'm just going to start this video off by saying there are some pros and cons. So, cons, well, I'm not even going to say pros and cons, just cons. Um, do not fit the wig how I did it. So, do not spray. I spray spritz on the two side pieces. Do not do that. Just do it to where, um, just get the hot comb and just press it down. Because when you put it on your hair, I ended up having to coat mine out. Um, just so that it could be a little bit fluffier and not so hard. So I did three layers of the glue. And now to this day, I am going to upload another video of me doing a whole different style. But now to this day, um, it is still stuck. It's not moving. I was going to do a water test, which I may do a video on that too, maybe. I'm not really sure. So I put those two things on the back of there. I didn't sew the back down, which I kind of wish I would have. Next, next one I will because I took down the top, what do you call it, the top ponytail. And a few days after I took it down, I wanted it back up. So now I'm like, uh, I couldn't wear it because of work. Work, I wear a hat, so I couldn't wear my top ponytail. But I wanted it back, but with me trying to put it back into a ponytail, the back kept lifting, which means I was going to take off the whole wig to redo the hairstyle, and I just didn't feel like doing all that. But I will try to do my styles on the mannequin head before I put them on my head. I thought it would just work way better because I can go ahead and plan out what I'm doing. And it just, it flows better. The video will flow better. Everything will just go right and I won't have to improvise or change up something. Like everything can just already be laid out. So I keep saying so and I'd be so tired of myself saying so. I wanted to do the two pieces in the front, ended up taking those out because they weren't long enough. I didn't feel like gluing down tracks. Next time I will, maybe, maybe not. I do want to try that style. I don't have that many 360, not 360, lace frontal wigs like to try these things on. I have two that I need to make, but I'm just so over making wigs. I just want to buy a wig that's already made and then... Just put it onto my head. As I did this video, I was really excited. I don't know what it was. I think just doing the style before and then to know that it was a style that was like so, so, you know, so-called trending. I was like, oh, let me find out. I'm stepping up my, um, my trending hair videos because I really be lacking. So this won't come out until next year. I'm doing this voiceover in 2022. It's going to be 2023 when y'all see this video. I just was like really excited. So I started doing my hair. Um, so I washed it, blow dried it, and styled it. And that took maybe like an hour. Because like when I washed my wigs, I washed it with shampoo. And then I also use a body wash. Body wash that I know that smells good. And it just gets the wig smell out. You would think washing the hair with shampoo would do that. But I just, I needed my body wash that I knew that smells so good to just be on the hair. I will say, a day or so, like... Like the first three days of me doing a fresh wig, it looks the best. After a few days, eh, you know, you will see in this video next that I will link down. Well, no, you will see in my next video. So you would have to press the subscribe button and you will see in my next video that the wig looks a little old, you know, um, sleep it on it. Sometimes I sleep with a bonnet. I've tried to see with bonnets, but the baby hairs also don't stay in place because I scratch around that area a lot. So here I'm just showing you that I do have extra hair. I ended up not using it because, no, actually, yes, I did. I did end up using extra hair, but it wasn't this one. But I did this one the best. I don't know what it was about this technique that I used. I don't know if it was the wrapping technique or what. But yeah, I'm, I, what? I am going to do this again. Y'all, I'm not editing this voiceover. I am going to do this again, and I'm going to try to do the ponytail 
on the mannequin head. But y'all see how perfect that wraparound is? Y'all gonna see in my picture on my thumbnail or videos that I post, it looks nothing like... I don't know what it was. I really, I cannot tell you what it was, but I was so happy with this top ponytail. I was so mad that I took it out. I was like, are you serious? Like, I really got to do this all over again. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try this again. But I am going to put the extra hair on top. I'm going to try this again with the same wig. So I want y'all to see what this hairline look like now. And then what it's going to look like when I reach, like, I'm going to redo this whole, this whole hairstyle. But, yes, I'm going to do the ponytail on top of the head. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just all over the place. My next video is going to be me showing y'all how to do this on the mannequin head, which y'all probably already know. But I want to put it on the mannequin head and then it's basically do an easy transfer over to my head. Just to show you, the process can be easy. I love doing stuff where it's super quick easy just one and done you know so to be able to do this say a week prior to me putting it on my head just great like say you say you get five different wigs and you line them up all just i'm gonna wear this this week next week the week after you know what i'm saying that i need to do that i, I wow see what i'm saying when i be making videos and i just be talking i just be thinking of so many good ideas i can do so that's what we're gonna try i'm gonna try to do that oh my gosh like do not take my idea like i feel like it's gonna be somebody's gonna take my idea it's probably people that already have that done like you can you can knock out five videos like that but yeah so i wanted it fuller if you can read my lips but i wish i would just kept it like this because i ended up just taking it off and yeah um oh yeah so it was christmas <laughs> merry christmas so i'm gonna show y'all my first gift that i ever got and i got this from my girly party so my family we just get together the f first weekend of december and we just give out gifts this is my first time opening it because i like to open my gifts on christmas so i got some socks i got some room spray a candle like all this stuff i was really surprised um, and I also got some candy. Oh, and I got lotion. Was it lotion? Hold on, we're going to see because I really forgot. Hand soap. That's what it was. Hand soap, room spray, candle, chocolates, and socks. So, when I seen the candle, I was, like, over ecstatic because, oh, my gosh. Like, who would have known that I love candles and I got a candle? So, yes, I really enjoyed making this video, you guys. Um, I love making videos when everyone is asleep in my house. I can't wait to have my own place to where I don't even have to do it while everybody sleep. I can just do it in daylight and <laughs> be okay with that. All these tools that I've used today, besides the Blue Fly Iron Baby Bliss one, I paid $5 for. And I'm, I love bargaining, you know, bar bargaining. Yeah, I love bargaining shopping. I don't know how to say it. So, I really was like, mm, should I leave my curls like this? Like, you know, this is the style now, to be honest. But I ended up I ended up just doing regular ones. And I really should have kept it like that because that's different. Or I could have took a, video, a picture and made that my thumbnail. But, yeah, for this to have been, uh, like, it's been over a year since I've worn this wig. It's really held up pretty nicely so i am going to do a wig clean out where i'm just going to go into my wig drawer and throw out the wigs that i don't want don't need can't revive can't make look good and just throw them out but really want to say thank you guys for tuning in do not forget to like comment and subscribe please subscribe because i promise you i'm going to have more hair videos i really want to get into this get back get I really want to do more with hair trinity. I really I'm I'm gonna keep my edges like this next time. Because I feel like a lot of people like you know how you see something, you be like, mm, that ain't cute. It was actually cute on me and I messed it up because I took it down. But continue watching. Like I really want y'all to continue watching and 2023. I don't even I feel like I said this before. But honestly, 2023 is going to be just that year where I really am going to try to step out my comfort zone more. I feel like I've, so 
this is too much talking. This is going to be for another video. But I feel like I've came out my comfort zone more. I just need to like really, really get out there, especially on social media because I'm very closed off when it comes to social media. I want to say thank you guys. Continue watching. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm on my way to family's house. And of course, police are out. So I have to be very cautious of how I'm driving. And yeah, I wish I would've put on makeup, but I didn't bring my lashes. I brought literally nothing. Cause I'm like, I'll just do mascara for today. Lashes would've been cute though. But I just, cause I was gonna bring my lashes and then decide if I wanted to put them on or not. But I think I'm just gonna be lash free. Unless my cousin got some lashes and some tweezers, then we'll put them on. But yeah, this is my hair. This is how it turned out. It's not the best. It's not, ugh. You know, it's doing something for me, but not what I want. This size I look, and eh, on camera, they looks okay. But yeah, I wanted curls. My cousin has a flat iron. I make curl it. I should have got my wine curler, but I didn't even think about it. I'm hoping that it only takes me like 30 minutes. I'm hoping that there is no traffic. And I can get down this road, get to her house. I'm just ready for them to open up their gifts. I feel like my outfit and my hair does everything to where my face really is just like an extra add-on. You ever think of like y'all outfits and like put them in a sequence? So I have my outfit, which I worked kind of hard on. And then I have my hair that I worked hours on. And I'm like happy that I worked hours on it. I didn't rush through it and then no makeup <laughs> no makeup I still get compliments things that I have on makeup and literally all I have on is mascara mascara and lip gloss that's been the move lately because lashes take time they do not pull out my lashes if you are putting on false lashes and you're pulling your lashes out you're doing something wrong I can wear my lashes for up to a week. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys go because I want to listen to my music and get down this road. Okay.